Feral pigs are a big problem for Georgia producers as well as other farmers around the country, but help might be on the way. The Monitor's Mark Wildman reports on research that's being conducted to combat this major problem. With the potential to deliver precision devastation, feral hogs are turning out to be public enemy number one for many Georgia producers. We saw firsthand the devastation these animals can cause back in the spring at the Middle Georgia farm of Rocky Nobles. The pigs use their noses to root out this cornfield and to get their prize seeds before the crop could even get started. The only remedy to this problem has been to stay up late and have your gun ready. Now research is underway at Auburn University to develop an oral contraceptive that is pig specific. Because feral swine are the way they are, they're a wild animal, it's difficult to catch them. Uh, it would be much better to be able to have it in a bait form so that the animal can eat it on its own and be, uh, and, and, and uh, the antibodies then can develop in the, in the animal without ha the animal having to be caught or, or uh, worked with at all by humans. Researchers gave a presentation at the Georgia Farm Bureau headquarters in Macon to an audience of producers from around Georgia. If you put together the damage which feral swine create in one year, and those are not the most recent data, 2002 data, so it was estimated to be around 800 million and the costs are escalating. There's just a whole lot of them. There's a, a, a vast number of animals. Every time these animals breed, they have four to six piglets at a time, sometimes up to 13 per litter, and you just can't keep up with them. The product is designed to sterilize the pigs to control populations, but the trick is to single out pigs so that other animals in the wild are not affected. Researchers displayed a number of slides that outline this process and are excited about their progress. So far we have 12 candidate vaccines which we will start testing in domestic swine for immunogenicity and safety this coming November. Cost estimates of applying such a product are not fully known yet and even the method of application has not been determined. We'll work with a company who will help us to prepare the baits. It'll have to be something that the, the pigs will eat. It could be in a solid form, it could be in a liquid form. Um, we, we just don't know yet. If all goes well, the product will be ready for FDA approval in 2015. Until then, we'll have to keep the traps out and the guns ready. In Macon, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.